Today we are bringing some of the biggest trends straight to you. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Kyle. I'm your guy with too many YouTube channels and today we are going to be covering, like I said, big things that were trending this week. The only things that we are going to be avoiding is anything that we can talk about that will not be YouTube friendly because I am very grateful to be on this platform. I am not going to sacrifice that at all. So we're going to talk about things that like Helldivers, Moist Esports suing and... Even then, we're going to talk about some X updates. We're going to talk about a new AI, which is really, really interesting once I started looking at it. So, guys, if you'd like to hear any particular story, timestamps will be there. If you'd like to skip to any part of the video, let's get into it. Starting off, I want to bring you to, and I don't even know, to be honest with you, which one of these. I would imagine Moist Esports is the biggest story, but this was huge. This took over the internet, man. I brought to bring you to a post by Dexterdo over here. Xbox just shut down four gaming studios behind games like Redfall and Hi-Fi Rush. We see the four studios that have closed down over here, and they continue on just a little bit. Microsoft has made the decision to close three influential studios to invest more deeply into our portfolio of games and new IP. This is crazy. This was out of nowhere. From an outside perspective, it just seems completely unnecessary. And you can see one of the top replies over here. Why do Xbox fans still think there's a console war? PlayStation one years ago. So... It's it's honestly just completely shocking. This was out of nowhere. Xbox shut them down. We don't know too much information outside of that right now. The story is still developing, but that is insane. But speaking of insane, we have a little bit more of an insane story. Let me bring you to a tweet over here from What's Up News. Moist Critical and his organization, Moist Esports, are suing U.S. immigration after their Apex Legends team was denied entry to the country. We don't know the exact legality of the situation right now from the side of Moist Critical, though. If you guys haven't watched this video, he goes into it about as deep as possible. He's been angry about this for a little while, and now he's officially suing U.S. immigration. I would imagine that they're just going to go, okay, well, we'll let you in. That's my guess because for it's, it doesn't seem that big of a deal, and it seems like that actually... It, was, it seems like there was nothing wrong, and they should have just been allowed entry to the country right they're just and they weren't really exactly looking at it i know they were having problems being an esports team in just general but it's crazy that it went this far and all the money that they potentially lost out on but hey you know what Th things might come out and they might actually have a reason for denying people but from right now from what it seems it seems like moist critical and his team are completely completely in the right here let's keep going on to the next tweet and next piece of news that we have gathered over here and this is very interesting because I just talked about my wife about this, which is really, really funny to me, okay? So, get this. We are officially the next The next step to the future is come over here, guys, because Whole Foods Amazon allows customers to pay with palm scanners. The technology works by reading the ridges and lines in customers' palms and vein structures and creating a unique palm signature. The company claims it's part of an effort to reduce checkout time. And honestly, that probably would work, to be honest with you. I'm of the opinion personally that this is going to come to all of us in the future. It's going to be forced for us to use and pay with our hands. But I am looking at this thing and thinking how disgusting it must be. I'm a huge germaphobe, germaphobe, excuse me. And that little dot over there, I don't like the finger sensors at like Disney World. I can't imagine having to put your full palm on something. I hope this doesn't, I hope this isn't a thing that's forced upon us, but I can see that coming one day. But we're officially next step in the future, man. Amazon has officially started to people have people pay with palm scanners. Now for the next piece of news, guys. X had a major update. And you know what's funny is I didn't even know about this update, okay? Because I've been I've recently started using Twitter a lot more. You guys can follow me at Clen YouTube if you would like to, if you like to hear what I'm talking about. Talk about a lot of MMA, talk about a lot about gaming. Just responding to a, pretty much anything on the for you page. So now we have a new explore tab, and this is for only paid subscribers, and I, of course, am a paid subscriber. I didn't know this was for paid subscribers because once this came out, I actually started using it, and I used it a little bit to figure out what's actually been trending. The past little bit, though, tr the NHL's been trending. Understandably so. They're taking up, like, everything on the trending page right now, but you can dive into news, sports, entertainment. You can even save trends for later. I have been using this myself, and I think it is a very, very nice addition to X if you would like to have some sort of incentive to pay for it because right now you pretty much just pay for the check mark and paid for verified replies. So this is a really nice addition to it. I've been using it personally and I really like it. Moving on, Nintendo has actually been in the trending category, which has been a little while since Nintendo was actually trending because you don't hear too much unless it's Mario Kart or Smash Bros. Nintendo doesn't typically make its way into the mainstream too much. So this is, and I'm probably pronouncing this wrong. I apologize. Furukawa, president of Nintendo, we will make an announcement about the successor to Nintendo Switch within this fiscal year. 
It has been over nine years since we announced the existence of the Nintendo Switch back in March 2015. We will be holding a Nintendo Direct this June regarding the Nintendo Switch software lineup for the later half of 2024. But please be aware that there will be no mention of the Nintendo Switch successor during that presentation. Now, <laughs> I like the reply to this over here. Probably the most casual way to announce the Switch 2 ever. Never change Nintendo. <laughs> Never change. And was it actually the way the Switch was announced? I don't actually recall how the Switch was announced, but it's crazy that it's been nine years. What I'm personally hoping for, and if you guys don't know if you came, well, you might know if you, depending what channel you come over from. I am a huge, huge Smash Bros. fan. I'm hoping that they don't make a new Smash Bros. game because Smash Ultimate was perfect. And I hope they just port this over, add a couple new characters, add Waluigi. I'm a happy player. I'm a happy man. I hope they bring another Mario Kart to the game. But other than that, Nintendo coming out with the new consoles, always really, really big news. But it's going to be tough to beat the Switch, man. It's going to be tough because that seems to be one of the perfect consoles. Maybe they can bust it up to 60 FPS. That should be a given. So maybe that's what actually what they should be doing, to be honest. All right, guys, here's the crazy thing. Here is the crazy thing that's gone viral a little bit, okay? Have you heard about Pim Eyes? I haven't. I haven't until I was researching this video, and this has been going crazy because Pim Eyes is a new AI online face search engine that goes through the internet to find pictures containing given faces. So what the goal is, what people have been doing, and apparently, I haven't used it myself, but apparently, it's quite accurate. You can upload your picture and you can find literally any picture of your face that's on the internet ever. I don't know if it really will detect you when you were a child or something like that, depending on how long you've been on the internet for, but... Apparently, it does a very, very good job in doing so, and people are finding themselves in the backgrounds of all these insane photos, and I don't know if I ever want to actually upload myself into that, but it's very interesting because Pim Eyes, apparently a lot of people are getting on it. It's working, and it's very, very interesting. AI is going crazy, man. Moving on to the next story, something very, very quick, something that actually took over for a whole day was Starbucks has joined the boba train with their new summer drinks, and they're just making boba drinks. I don't have anything else to say about that. I like boba drinks. I'll be trying them, and I'm not, the I'm not too big on Starbucks myself, but I actually really like boba drinks, but <laughs> there is nothing else to talk about that one, man. Next up, something cool that I did not know about until I was looking through the trending post this week was... The portal has officially opened. I didn't know what this was, so I, assuming that you don't either, I will explain it to you in this post as well. The portal is a visual bridge connecting New York City to Dublin. A public technology sculpture known as the portal was unveiled this morning in New York City's Flatiron neighborhood. The sculpture is a real-time visual live stream connecting New York City to Dublin, Ireland. And the memes on this have been crazy. The memes on this have been so bad that I am not going to scroll down. <laughs> the amount of stuff that people saying they're going to show through the through the portal. It's actually a really cool idea. I don't know why this is a thing. It must be very expensive to run, but I think it's a really cool thing. Could you imagine if it's just actually a fake photo? You're not actually connecting over to Dublin. It just makes you think that you're connecting over to Dublin. But then again, I guess you would get real-time interactions. I wonder if there's a delay on that thing. I don't know. Very, very interesting. It's a little bit strange, new. I haven't heard about this personally. I don't know if you have, so let me know if you think about it down below. But guys, that's all I have for you today. Check out this video on screen right now if you'd like to continue watching the channel. I will see you over there. Take care.